Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Brewster's Real Ice Cream. I'm trying to get it where you can see it there. It's been in the freezer. Uh, this is the toffee bar. And it's the peanut butter cup overload. So, uh, the, or is there a price on these? Oh, probably somewhere. Uh, or oh, it's Ah, okay. $6.99. $6.99 for, for the pint. Uh, Brewster's, if you don't know, if you've never watched, we've reviewed a lot. We have a whole playlist of Brewster's ice cream. Uh, but they make these on site every day. Mm -hmm. Our location is in Nicholsville, Kentucky, so that's where we went to get these. Um, but yes, they make these on site right there. So um, this is the toffee bar. And I think $6.99, that's a good price for for a full pint. Okay. <clears throat> and they scoop these into these pints right right there. Yes, you can get it in a cup or in a cone or you can get it in a pint. You can get, a, it, get it in get a one bigger. Scoop, two scoops. Yeah, you, know, you can get it however you want it. I think they actually sell gallons. We were bringing it home so we got it in a pint. This is actually toffee bar made with Heath. It is vanilla ice cream with Heath chocolate covered toffee pieces and we uh, we really do love heath a heath bar Ooh, there's lots of little um, toffee pieces in there mm -hmm. well i'm impressed with how strong that it, that heath bar flavor is mm, very strong toffee because we've had things that have said heat bar and it's like you can't really taste the heat bar yeah, like they can put it in there that's for sure like i think it's different when you try heat bar in like something baked like a cake or a cookie or something like that versus in ice cream because the ice cream it hasn't baked at all and it keeps its um all that flavor mm -hmm. all that toffee flavor the um the chocolate in there is crunchy. The little toffee bits are a little softer. Mm -hmm. I like the flavor of the vanilla ice cream itself. Yeah, that was really good too. The reason I say that is the, you know, a heat bar. If you eat a heat bar, you know, the toffee's like really, really hard and crunchy. Yes. It's I think like being, a dime bar. Yeah. So being in um, the ice cream is softened those a little bit, which I don't have a problem with. Um, because you still get all that flavor of it. It's just, uh, don't expect a really crunchy um, texture in there because I don't really get a lot of that. I think that's a good thing, but yeah. it's not hard. Yeah, because they're pretty hard. Mm -hmm. uh, the heat bar is. A heat bar, yeah. Really a like heat them. bar is very crispy. Yeah. Uh, Almost brittle like. But like I said, that's delicious. It's very, very sweet. Mm -hmm. And I love how you still get all that flavor, the full flavor of the heat bar. Mm -hmm. um, because it hasn't been baked, right. you know? And you still get the texture. Uh, there is still a texture difference to the chocolate because the chocolate's a little uh, frozen and crunchy. So that's good. So this, yeah. I would have I would have liked it if they had done it in vanilla. Mm -hmm. might be but good it might be wonderful in chocolate. So this is the peanut butter cup overload. And this is with Reese's. So... Several of you sent me messages telling me that this was a new flavor at Brewster's and that's why we we went over to Brewster's is to get this so I appreciate those of you who told me. A new peanut butter cup overload made with Reese's peanut butter cups. It's dark chocolate ice cream with swirls of peanut butter and chunks of Reese's peanut butter cups. So, it says they also have baked waffle cones. Yeah, this is one big hunk of peanut. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, you got lucky. <laughs> That's a one big swirl of peanut butter. I don't think I could eat that whole bite. Well, I mean, I could, but... I'm going to break it in half. That's a big hunk of uh, peanut butter ribbon. <clears throat> there we go. I'm hoping that that's what this is because I've only gotten the chocolate ice cream. So the chocolate ice cream is actually really, really nice. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that peanut butter is 100% Reese's. Where's that one? Well, I was trying to see if this was peanut butter. 
It looks like it. But it's so thick. It's kind of hard. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's basically what I had to do. Ah, uh, that, yes, that is peanut butter. Oh my gosh. And you do get little peanut butter cups in there too. I don't like either. I wish they put it in vanilla instead vanilla. of chocolate. I like the chocolate. I really do. Mm -hmm. But it it kind of interferes with the peanut butter flavor. It adds that darker chocolate flavor to it. I really wish I just had the sweet and salty peanut butter flavor coming through a lot better. Because mm -hmm. I really like that peanut butter swirl. It's really good. I like it too. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see where you got any peanut butter cup though. I didn't get a peanut butter cup. Or at least I can't find it. I've got one. Thick. I mean, how do you even see it? It looked like that. It was like this little, like a light colored. Oh, maybe this was the one right here. Yeah. Okay. It's good, but it'd be better in, in vanilla. Oh, I get that. And it's very distinctly Reese's peanut butter cup. Yeah, it's got the so, texture and everything. Right. So the difference between the peanut butter swirl, you're literally just getting a thick swirl, and I mean it's thick, but a thick swirl of peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Like it, like a jar of peanut butter. <laughs> right, but there's no other flavor to go with it. Right. When you actually get a piece of the Reese's peanut butter cup, you taste that Reese's um the the milk chocolate too mm. so you're getting the peanut butter but you're getting the milk chocolate right. um i would like I, this is delicious there's it's nothing good. wrong with it i would like a version with um vanilla and mm -hmm. peanut butter and not even any reese's cups i don't mind the reese's cups the, i don't i'm not saying i mind them i don't mind them of course i'm saying for tammy's version I would like that big, huge, ribbon, thick of peanut butter. ribbon of peanut butter with vanilla ice cream, and it doesn't even need to have the Reese's. It does. It, they're just not necessary. It does. Because I like the peanut butter itself so much that I don't need the addition of the chocolate with it. Right. I, I just give that. me the peanut butter. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I, I would definitely like it better if it was in vanilla. Even if they did the exact same thing and just switch out the chocolate for vanilla, I would like it. A lot yes. Um, so, which one are you getting again? Uh, probably the Heath out of these two. Uh -huh. Definitely the Heath because I, I really, I mean, it's not that I don't like it. I don't prefer that darker chocolate ice cream. Right. Yeah, I'd much rather have a vanilla. Um, I like them both very, very much, but I am going to pick the peanut butter because yeah. I do like... The big, thick peanut butter. Oh, yes. You can't beat that. And, yes, it is an extra thick ribbon of peanut butter, mm -hmm. and I love that. It is. When you get it, and there's a lot of it in there. Yeah, it's really good. But either one of these are delicious. You cannot go wrong with either one. Actually, you can't go wrong with Brewster's period. If you yeah, go I don't think Brewster's, we ever had a bad flavor. No, we have we have not had a bad flavor. We did have one that we wouldn't get again because it was cotton candy and it had a lot of food dye in yeah. it. And you could taste the food you dye. Taste it. That is the only one we've ever said we probably wouldn't get it again because you can taste the dye. Right. Um, and but the I next batch, the next person that made it may not have put as much in there. Exactly. It might have been as bad. So because I mean, they're making it on site. Right. So, literally, we've liked every single flavor yep. they've ever had. Yep. Um, but and they're cheap. I mean, six ninety nine for a full pint. And yes. It's, it's fresh made ice cream mm -hmm. scooped right there in front of you. You, you can't beat it. Yeah. But I do appreciate you all reaching out to me um, and letting me know that this was a new flavor. Anytime you see that they have a new flavor, please, please let me know again. I appreciate it. I'll make my way over there and, and pick it up if I can. So I will have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.